Hi, I'm Marva, and I'm here to show you how to make character maps today. Character map is great uh, for a lot of reasons. One, it can help you plan your screenplay. You get all your characters out there, and you can kind of see where relationships are and everything. It's also a great way to help you edit your screenplay later, figure out which characters are necessary and which aren't. And it's just a pretty good tool overall to have around to keep you thinking about who's in your story and what the relationships are and uh, where possible obstacles may be. So here are your characters. Um, basically, you put them all on the map to start with. And what you want to do is draw arrows where uh, the relationships are. You'll notice, for example, here's Marsha, here's Hank. They have a relationship, but there's two arrows because you know, every relationship, every person who knows each other, it's not the same on both sides usually. For example, Marsha's in love with Hank, so put here, but Hank barely notices Marsha. So that's what you'd write down for those two. Now you have the other characters in the movie throughout. Like here, we have Marsha's brother, Marcus, and that's just the relationship they have. So it's, it's her brother, his sister. Over here though, with Hank, we also have, he has a brother, Joel, and because it's a more interesting relationship, he has an irresponsible brother, Joel, and Joel has a stick in the mud brother, Hank. So you just kind of begin to map that out. Um, you do the same with the other characters, boss, assistant, in love with, hates, that sort of thing, best friend versus pretty close friend, and it helps you analyze how they interact with each other. You can kind of see, even though Marcus might approach a situation in a scene as the best friend, looking at a situation like, well, this is my best friend and this is how we'll interact with each other. It's not gonna be the same from Hank's side. And you can keep that in mind by having a character map. Another thing you wanna do when you have a character map is try to connect as many of the main characters as possible. You don't want Marsha to be here in the middle and have relationships with all these other characters and have none of them connected. It's going to be a more interesting film if everyone sort of has a connection to the other person. It's not completely necessary. For example, I left Joel and Marsha apart. But if you can, you want to find a way, um, even if it doesn't really show up in your screenplay yet, to connect those two. It also helps because sometimes you'll have, for example, um, a minor character who maybe has a lot of lines for a minor character. Maybe there's a barista whom Marsha talks to a lot. Maybe she has a relationship with the barista and he's her confidant and she's just a customer to him and that's a relationship there. But maybe once you see he's just hanging out over here and has no connections to the other characters, maybe you can just realize you need to cut this person and take his lines and put him into another character. Um, make him into Hank or Joel or put his character somewhere else or combine him, combine him with someone else. You can also do that with many minor characters. If you have a lot of unnamed characters in your movie, you might wanna just smush them into one person. And that's what a character map's for basically, is to help you really see the characters, how they interact, and uh, who needs to be there and who doesn't. Simple as that.